Hey, howdy, and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, ready to take you through another Minnesota Wild discussion here today on the channel. And let me tell you, you know what the best part of everything is? Uh, you know what? Start of the summer, I said, it's going to be Yak summer. It's going to be the summer of Yak. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic summer to be me. And so far, so good. It's been a great one. But quite honestly, this July, this past two weeks in July, has been the summer of Liam Ogren. My goodness, this kid is having quite the past two weeks here in the middle of July with the Minnesota Wild. So, comes out of Sweden, gets drafted by the Wild. Big good, 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 good go for him. Ends up, right, ends up going to development camp. Good on him. Hey, that's what you want to see out of your first round pick. Ends up signing his three-year entry-level deal. Perfect, good for him. And then, oh my goodness, hold on, line it up one more time. He ends up agreeing after William Eklund, that's the point of this video, leaves the World Junior roster for the Team Sweden coming up here in Edmonton, Alberta this summer, late August. Guess what? He joins Team Sweden for the World Junior Championship. Boom! Summer of Liam Ogren. And what has taken me a whole three months to achieve uh, anything of substance that I can claim it's Yak Summer. He's done in two weeks and then some, having himself potentially the best summer you could have at 18, 17 years old out there in the NHL atmosphere. So fantastic for Liam Ogren to go out there and get things done. We've talked about this kid, what, this time number two or three or four at this point, how many times we've talked about him. So here he is now going to be a mainstay on Team Sweden and more than likely your biggest player to watch for the Minnesota Wild at the World Junior Championships this summer in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So folks, that's really all there is to this end of day, right? Is, you know what, now, okay, so you've seen him at development camp in the three-on-three -three tournament. He signed his entry level. He's going to gun up and go at the World Juniors. What does he bring at camp? Does he come to camp, or does he just fly back to Sweden with Team Sweden and get back to Jurgarden and see what he can do there? I don't know. Don't really care, because you know what? All I want to see is this kid's playing high-level hockey, keeping us fans interested, keeping us having a good old time, and keeping us roped along the whole time to see what this kid can achieve. Because, right, when you have this kind of past two weeks, sky's the limit for you. I don't care where you're drafting. When you are having this good of a two weeks, you're having a dang good couple of weeks. That is for sure. So, yeah. <laughs> Wow, good for him and really good for the Minnesota Wild to have a guy like him. Oh man, my weird my eyes being all weird. Uh if you can't tell this is the eye that's out there driving, so a little a little shrunk shrunk in tonight, uh after driving in the sun all day is what it is. But folks, I'm Yak. This is Clem Hawks. There really ain't much else to add to this. Liam Ogren going to the World Juniors, World Juniors end run end uh, run end of August this year. And then, of course, they'll come back in the uh, wintertime there around Christmas and New Year's. So there's a lot to like, a lot to look forward to, and Liam Ogren will be a mainstay with it. Other than that, have yourself a great evening. We'll talk again, I'm sure. i got to find some other topic, but we will discuss some stuff. I am up on out of here.